Hi, Soul Family. It's Sultani with Saji Soul. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading. Uh, I did start with Aries because we're technically in Aries season. For those of you who have uh, Aries in your North Node, happy birthday, your moon sign, happy birthday. Uh, I'm on to Leo now. Leo, before I get started, let me say thank you. To all of my old subscribers, I really appreciate you. Thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. So family, thank you for sharing uh, the comments, the energy, the emails, the likes, the dislikes, uh, your personal stories. Uh, it helps to heal others, others who are going through the same situation, similar situations, and those who become up behind the energy. Um, okay, Leo. So we are still, I think we're still in the first quarter, right? I would technically move to the second quarter. Anyway, we're still in the beginning of the new year, right? So April 2022, I would like to read your horoscope, uh, Leo, and it reads, There is fuel for the fire. Enjoy the heat while it lasts. If you come up against opposition, just make sure you put the work in before you argue your case. Have all your facts right, Leo. Uh, there may be a surprise and opportunity on the horizon. Your rewarding days will be the 20th, the 21st. Your challenging days will be the 5th, the 6th, and the 7th, which is this upcoming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. All right, Leo. So hopefully you are getting your house in order. When I mean getting your house in order, getting your thoughts in order, uh, getting your ideas in order, putting your ideas down, journaling your, your new business ideas, your nonprofit ideas, your corporation ideas, your LLC ideas, your online ideas, your writing ideas, your music ideas, whatever promotes you and give you that passion, right? Whatever gives you that get up and go. It might not be a job. It might be something that's on the side, right? Something that if you put as much energy into it in time, that it will be your permanent job, right? And that will be your permanent um, staple of, of source of income, All right? But it's good to have a few different avenues. So Leo, I hope that you are, as it say, uh, adding fuel to the fire, <laughs> getting your ducks in a row, right? But making sure that you have the facts right so that you can argue your case, just in case someone questioned you why, how, when, um, and releasing toxicity from the mind, body, and soul, right? Releasing those old thought patterns, habits, things that kept you on a hamster wheel, people in places that kept you back, people in places who did not believe in you, people in places who uh, made you question yourself, people in places who did not uh, push you forward, did not say, hey, that's a good idea, try it. Hey, that's a great idea, try it. Right? Sometimes you need that little edge. Even though you're Leo the lion, sometimes that lion needs to be pushed forward a little bit, right? So Leo, I hope you are taking your life back. I hope you're releasing people who don't believe in you, who don't put you first, who don't give you equal reciprocity. Bowing down to the Most High God every day, having the attitude of gratitude, if not going on to nature, meditation, yoga. It's still all Mother Gaia. It's still all the I Am. It's still all Source, right? Having the attitude of gratitude. So Leo, hopefully um, things are going good for you this early part of the year. Don't forget to check your moon sign, rising Venus, Mars, Jupiter. Everything your natal birth chart that make up who you are. I'm going to bring you on down. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So Leo the Lion. I hope you're roaring. Roaring for your new opportunities. Roaring for what's right in life. Standing up for yourself and not allowing anybody to walk all over you. Leo the Lion, look at that. I just split the deck and I have the Strength card. With the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Releasing negativity, releasing responsibilities, releasing things, places, and people who no longer are of your greater good. Standing up for yourself, speaking up for yourself, saying what you will accept and what you will no longer accept. And not allowing people to stronghold you, not allowing people to blackmail you, not allowing people to tell you what they're going to do to you because you're already the lion. You are the king of the jungle. You're already 20 steps ahead of them. Let's cut the deck. Or the lioness, right? You know what I mean. Leo. I had this queen of wands in the reverse. This is the focus. So for some of you, this could be a friend, a foe. But this person is in the reverse. So this person is only about themselves and passion. You also have the seven of circles, which is like the seven of pentacles. You also have the six of cups. For some of you, this could be a past, past light soulmate, past light friend, an old baby mother, old baby father, someone that you've been trying to hold on to. You also have the three of pentacles, which is the three of sacred circles in this deck. You also have 
the Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. You also have King of Wands in the upright. So someone here is in the upright, Leo. I believe it's you. And you also have the Eight of Cups in the upright. Someone is walking away from someone who no longer serves their greater good. Someone who's only about passion and the money. Someone who could be mentally unstable, full of tantrums, fire, craziness, mental issues. Who wants to know your every walking, waking detail. Where you've been, who you've been with, what are you doing, what are you eating, what are you wearing, what time do you take a break to use the bathroom. Yeah, this is a king or queen that is in the reverse. There is a mental immaturity there. There is some type of something's not right, right? On the board, Leo. Hopefully this doesn't fall over. Hopefully you guys can see that. On the board, Leo, we have wands. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have pentacles. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have cups. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. No major arcanas here. So that tells me that this is a relationship that's been through a lot of ups and downs. But we do have the Six of Cups here. right? This is soulmate. This is past light energy. This is also someone who is the mother of your children, the father of your children. But let's just go here. I'm going to take this. Leo, whether you're a female or a male in the upright. The king of wands. We also have a queen of wands, but she's in the reverse. So someone here is mentally unstable. Someone here is just full of having fun, partying, drinking, drugging, into you know what, right? Well, someone here is trying to build. Someone here is trying to build legacies. Someone here is trying to build family. Someone here is trying to keep food on the table. Someone here is probably breaking their back night and day trying to make sure that things are right. Well, this person could be spending all the money. This person has no lack of responsibility. They have no knowledge of respect. Right? But for some of you, again, this is a soulmate connection. Understanding that we have various types of soulmates. We have karmic soulmates. We have divine soulmates. For some of you, this person, you are stuck and bound because of maybe magic they've been doing. As you can see, this almost like alchemy being done here. We have two candles here, a skull. For So for some of you, with this person being in the reverse, this person could be some putting things in your food, in your drink. We have things that are being mixed up here, things that are being done here. We have a book open, incantations, candles burning. So for, some, some, for some of you, you've been stuck for a long time. Maybe this person has been chanting over you as you sleep, chanting over your clothes or your articles while you're gone at work, mixing things in your food that you don't hardly recognize, getting you drunk, getting you high, so that you don't know what you're taking, what you're eating, what you're drinking, but keeping you bound to them. That's what I'm getting for some of you, um, especially culturally. This could be with this being, you know, uh, of a different culture. This could even be someone who practiced magic of a different culture. I just came from, the, you know, anywhere, but this is, this is your person for some of you don't see a third party here, but the Three of Pentacles usually speaks about talking about it with others, trying to collaborate with others, wanting to build things with others, whether it's online businesses, online platforms, but believe me, do not go on with an online platform with someone who's in reverse. Eventually, they're going to betray you. They're going to take your money. They're going to steal your money. They're going to side with the next best, next best opportunity because this is who they are. When you're not healed from childhood wounds, any type of mental issues, whatever it is, this person can never be in the upright. They can never be trusted. So even if you're collaborating with them, it's almost like being in the cold always with this person. You never know what you're going to get with them. So I do see 
Again, the Ten of Pentacles was here. So we do have a family situation. This this isn't a family situation. This is a business partnership. If this isn't a business partnership, it's a friendship. If it isn't a friendship, it's a long-term partnership, right? Maybe five to ten years, right? Pentacles is about building legacies. Right. If this queen was in the upright as this king, then we know we have stable foundations. We have businesses all over. We have a diversified portfolio. But with the queen being in reverse, the ten of pentacles being in reverse, this is someone, Leo, that you will never be able to build a legacy with. They don't value hard work. They don't value money. They value how things look on the surface. They value how people think about them on the surface. This is someone with low self-esteem, and they're only about looking good. Not about putting in the work, not about building, not about creating, not about building legacies to have legacies and help other people legacies. This person is all about self. What can you do for them? Maybe you should work a little harder so you can bring them diamonds. Make you, maybe you should work a little harder so you can take them on trips. Maybe you should work a little harder so they can have more money in their pocket on a monthly basis. For some of you, this is an unequally yoked relationship. You can Google it. You can read it in the Bible. Unequally yoked. So I'm talking to a Leo who has to walk away. For some of you, maybe you have already done that. Because you know, maybe your money is not doing right. Maybe the opportunities are not doing right because you're holding on to something that maybe was just a karmic lesson. A karmic soulmate who came to teach you about looks how a package looks on the outside, but what's really on the inside. Yes, this person may look good, but this person doesn't want to work. They don't want to hustle. They don't want to make money. They don't want to build legacies. Yeah, this person may look good, but they don't cook. They don't clean. They want you to take them out. They want you to take them traveling. They want you to eat out every day. Right. It's going to resonate differently with everyone. So I'm talking to Leos who are putting on their lion suit. And they're standing up for themselves. They're no longer hiding behind the king or hiding behind others. They're standing up for themselves. And this lion is looking fierce. He's looking towards the future. He knows where he has to go. He knows what's waiting on him. He's not into playing games anymore, coddling situations, coddling others, coddling people. He has a destiny to fulfill. He has a legacy to build. Leo, this is your reading. Releasing toxicity, mind, from the mind, body, and soul. Releasing those people who hold you back. Releasing people who are not of your great and good. Releasing people who you are not equally yoked with. It's time, Leo. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course comment. Leo the Lion, get to roaring. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Saggy Soul. And from one soul to another soul. I love you so, family. Have a good week.